24th of March, Fire Emblem update. Let's see what's new. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell button to get notified for new awesome videos. Okay, so March 21st, the new update. What we are getting? So, we are getting the Coldrax Slayer, which is a bowman raid. Um, it has some mechanics with uh, falling uh, icicles on your head and you collect snowflakes. Snowflakes give you buff, buff gives you uh, stats increase, uh, you collect, you get it to stage 10, which transforms to ice flower, which gives you even more stats. And uh, you can collect new snowflakes and you can uh, level that ice flower to like, uh, well, you can uh, level it to stage 5. Uh, so, to do a lot of more damage. And how does it work? Uh, well, actually, the dungeon has this uh, great dragon. Great looking dragon. But uh, apparently, the Eight Master sealed it, and now he's unsealing himself. And uh, it's uh, again the damage uh, reward dungeon. So, the more damage you do, the higher damage you, uh, the higher reward you get, like uh, Cold Rocks Treasure, Premium Cold Rocks Treasure, or Elite Cold Rocks Treasure, <coughs> depending on your damage. If you do the last hit, you get uh, a regular Cold Rocks Treasure extra box. Uh, you have a daily quest there, and the dungeon is available at uh, 1, p 1 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. server time which I don't know what exactly means, but uh, a small icon will appear under the... well, where your Bay and Soul menu is, and uh, you click it and you go in a type of a cross-server matching, and you get matched with the party, you cannot enter with pre-made party, so you're stuck with randoms. You don't know what you'll get. But, uh, well, We'll see on 21st when it's released. What you can get the hexagonal garnet. Uh, if it's only the day quest that is giving you the two scales, because it gives two scales, if it's only that, um, you need about 30 days to get one of those. Uh, but it gives you um, it gives you boss attack power and critical rate increase, which is nice because the critical rate because of level 55 uh, fell a bit, you know low. So that's another way to increase our critical rate. Uh, it will be upgradable up to octagonal, because the, for gilded one we don't have the materials yet. It will be probably possible at later stages when they release the new dungeons. Grand Dragon costume, Grand Dragon crown and the pet. Uh, Hong Moon experience charms, Hive Moon wings and Raven feathers with their prices. Here are the costumes, on male Jin and female Gom. Course. And uh, the pet, which uh, looks uh, nice. <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, Emperor Stump. Actually, we are not getting the Emperor Stump. We are getting only the treasury, but we are getting the storyline quest for it, uh, which is an orange quest. It's uh, similar to one for Kandra Vihar for Skyrim Spire and the one for Temple of Alluvion. So now there's a third one which is more experience, more money, and some uh, quick boost. Ling Gunslinger. Lings can now shoot you. <sighs> but they don't add Gong Gunslinger, and we have a Gong Gunslinger in-game. Logic. Damn Koreans and their uh, furry fetishes. Okay, um, so Link Gunslinger, along with it, we are getting uh, new Link haircuts, new Link uh, ears and uh, tails, like some dragon looking tail, like the one, uh, well, to come with the Coldrax Lair and uh, Nine Tails, which, uh, well, it's not what you imagine, it has nothing to do with uh, the Nine Tails fox from Naruto. But uh, that's our Legend Mode. Legend Mode is a uh, arena PvP where you are not using your skills, apparently it most likely will be uh, also equalized, like the arena, and you're fighting another uh, player, you're choosing, you can play 
as uh, Jin Suyun, Poharan, uh, Master Hong, or Yung Sang. And use their skills. Uh, we'll see how it is. It could be fun. It has uh, it's it's supposed to has its own rankings for the season, and will give you some uh, interesting rewards. So hard difficulty dungeons. They are boosting the hard difficulty dungeons by adding a Forgotten Raven King Soul Shield chest, which means that you can farm Raven Soul Shields in uh, your in uh, dungeons and not getting to Skyberg Spire because you have you can go there only once a week but uh, you can now farm chests uh, in dungeons on hard mode only though but a uh, better way to get uh, soul shoots of course you will need some help from your higher gear friends but uh, dungeons are Nairo Sanctum, Marita Forge, Evan Drake, Lair, Star Stone Mines and Hollow's Heart Drowning Deeps apparently is excluded from those. New tradable uh, item, the Arachyun whatever ring and the same earring. The ring from uh, hard mode Starstone Mines and Hollow's Heart and uh, the earring from Aerotech Forge and Diamond Ring Player. They are tradable, they can be sold on the market and you can buy it so you can, uh, you know, make a buck with him, with them. Also for from the Shallowless Exchange uh, NPC, Veido, not to be mistaken with Veido, um, you can buy Elemental Prisms for 600 Hellion Cores and 30 Black Stones. The Elemental Prisms, you are using the Ring or the Ear Ring, and you're transforming them into Elemental Skybreak Spire Legendary Accessory, like the Igneous Ear Ring, which I'm quite sure they put intentionally that one because it drops like once a year. Okay, uh, so now it's a bit uh, better to do hard mode dungeons because uh, half of those are, are useless to be made in hard mode. Hard uh, difficulty reward for Citadel, Desolate, Nairo Foundry and Unmerged in normal mode. So now doing normal and doing, do, la, la, doing hard mode will give you the same reward. And uh, hard mode difficulty of Citadel Desolate Nario Foundry are removed from cross server. You can all though go there by foot, like enter uh, in it, but uh, there's pretty much no use doing it. Skill changes uh, well, uh, first training certificates, world wind tokens, and puglist tokens uh, are removed and they're changed into bravery coins. Bravery coins we already have, but uh, you can purchase the Hong Moon skills from Zembin Trader and Battlefield uh, uh, MC for bravery coins only, so uh, less thing to worry about. Crafting three sides that uh, need training certificates like the Hong Moon Pad <coughs> is, uh, now uses bravery coins. And the cost for Hong Moon skills is reduced by approximately 50%. You can see the cost right here. And uh, now, skill balance update. Skill balance update, well, they're uh, what they call the December update in Korea, or uh, in uh, by the players, it's known as the Gunner Nerf update, where the Gunner will not only have to, well, will have stop holding his right mouse button all the time, and will have to use some uh, unloads to actually do them. They are doing that by uh, decreasing actually all equipment the gunner has, like bracelet, uh, weapons and stuff. They all have reduced uh, bonus on bullet storm and uh, quick shot, which is, uh, you know, the tombstone F uh, effect on the fire gunner and the uh, right mouse button. And they get uh, added the unload damage boost. So. It's pretty much uh, you have to use more unloads and makes the class not so brain dead. Uh, also adding rewards for 115 and 125 uh, offense and defense points. That's when you will reach from level 25 and I think even 30 because I, uh, I, I won't do the math. But you can do it if you can get 125 points at the moment. And you can uh, enhance, you can use 10 of those points to enhance 
threat, health regen, movement speed, on moon focus, and debuff defense. What uh, I remember is that um, threat is a 5 seconds buff when you are attacking. And it's a nice addition to, well, dungeons, especially stuff like um, Temple of Illuvian, the Vortex Temple, uh, where the range tank, uh, well, he has to do more damage to the tank. So now he has some kind of threat, because uh, he's not stopping to hit, uh, his threat will not fall, so he'll be doing 200% uh, threat. He doesn't use uh, food for an additional 550% threat, then it's uh, all nice so now we, you can add more um, players with high damage on his side that uh, without uh, being bothered that they may burst and steal aggro from him because uh, that's a case in uh, like destroyer soul fighter they can burst really high assassin as well but they are close range and if they steal aggro uh, it's uh, pretty much a white or a lot of pain so that's it, uh, health regen again. Those Most of those you uh, work on resist, the movement speed increases movement speed by 25%, but I think it's only when resisting, for only for about 5%. Common focus uh, returns 100 common focus on resist. Uh, debuff defense increases the debuff defense by 600, that's apparently good for PvP. <coughs> and you can now disable skills in the martial tome. Uh, that's when you press K. If you don't want to air bosses like uh, something to master that I know, uh, you can disable that skill and you won't, it, it won't pop out, so you won't uh, use it and you won't uh, air bosses, which uh, is nice and could have been useful like a year and a half ago for a force master or some other classes. Uh, okay, uh, sorry about uh, being a bit fast. But uh, all the things that I have to uh, show, uh, it will take more than an hour for the test. Let's take two on that video. Okay, weapon upgrade cost reduction. So Raven stage seven to advance to stage one, stage eight to stage two, and stage nine to stage three get their uh, costs adjusted. I don't know exactly what the state, the change here is, but there apparently is not. Maybe there will be something in the full patch notes. Uh, Raven 8 to Aransu 2 to more black stones, and uh, Raven 9 to Aransu 3 will take 4 black stones. Up from 0. Uh, they are also releasing Aransu stage 7 to 9, which means that we are getting uh, the max Aransu weapon now, and the next one will be touch on Sunday. Uh, Cost for 1 to 6 is reduced, which is nice. Or not reduced, but uh, changed for uh, here it is. Um, like having hearts for stage uh, 1 to uh, 3. Uh, they are 1 to, 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 are reduced with 8 high queen hearts and 3 around swords less. And stages 3 to 6, uh, they have. 5 around swords less, but uh, 550 gold more. So, uh, upgrading stage uh, 3 to 6 will take you 15 less around swords, but 150 gold more. Dungeons, dungeons, dungeons. Okay, Hellion Core will be available in Iron Tech Forge. Because currently. Also, Dragon Blood will be available in, uh, well, all. Heroic Dungeons, uh, excluding the one that uh, we'll get on 21st. Um, which is nice for some dungeons, but uh, we already had in Sogon, but now it will be two. I don't know how many we will be in the other dungeons, but uh, it will be really nice because uh, some of those dungeons, uh, like the Hollow Heart, uh, it could help a lot. Now, uh, one thing I have to mention is that if you are dying by mechanic, uh, you're not getting revived by the Dragon Blood. Like, uh, if you get frozen in Star Stone Mines and you don't get unfrozen, and some of my comrades had the, that mistake because he's soloing it and he thought that, oh, I can get frozen and it's not a problem, I have a Dragon Blood. No, you will die. You will die. Uh, same goes, for example, Desolate Tomb. Uh, well, normal mode, you're getting damage. If you're low on HP, it will give you in uh, near death state. So, Dragon Blood will actually revive you, but if we are talking hard mode, 
if you don't share the lightning, you instantly die no matter what you do. So the dragon blood won't help you there. And uh, that's it about that. We are also getting the golden dragon blood, uh, which is uh, with the dragon blood re revitalizer. I don't know, I think it's not craftable, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, probably some of you can tell me in the comments. And um, we are also get. Uh, I have some since the launch of the game. I haven't used them like then. And one of them is active for already three weeks. I haven't done died in dungeon that allows uh, Golden Dragon Blood to lose it. So yes, uh, I haven't died died in Sogun Slam apparently or yet. But it's available in the, those dungeons. It's not available in the Slate Tomb and Ario Pond. Which is strange. And it's available in Citadel. And that's we are talking hard mode. Which uh, also reduced NPC attack power, uh, tower of infinity and trial arena. That is nice. Uh, the NPCs, uh, they give you. Well, they do some damage at the start, and when they you get them to like uh, 5 or 10 percent of their HP, they start hitting like a truck. Like they start, uh, well, to hit you, one hit you, one shot you. Uh, so apparently they will have to hit you second time to kill you now. Uh, but release the um, MC attack power trial arena. If you don't do it, if you're not doing it, do it. Especially when there's a new season. If you do all the stages. On three stars, uh, it's about 50 tokens that you can get only from there, which is it leaves you uh, to like uh, 20 tokens less uh, uh, to get your batch. Slightly increase the floor when you're finishing from floor 4 to 57, which is nice because it will take you less fights to get to the same floor and uh, climb higher, which was annoying in the past. It's still on. Additional difficulty adjustment by several heroic dungeons, please see the patch notes for details. Okay, since we are talking December patch notes, let's see the patch notes for those dungeons. Okay, we'll make this uh, really quick. Bloom draws incursion, remove second defense point, makes the dungeon like 10-15 minutes uh, faster, probably will bring some life to it. Uh, Twisted Dreamcorn is not a dungeon, no one knows, I think that was implemented earlier. Belfull Phantom Zakham no longer backstabs before using spinning move. Which is, uh, that backstab is annoying, being removed is nice. Approve. Corrupted uh, Black Ram wakes up faster, those are the four NPCs at uh, the start of the Shattered Masts. Uh, so if you are sewing for materials, because it's a great place to farm materials, uh, it will make the dungeon like a minute or two faster. And less waiting for stupidity. Midnight Sky Pet Battle Planes uh, reduce the gouge, greatly reduce the gouge, which means that faster spawning for the boss. Of course, there will be leechers, as always. Um, Awakened Necropolis uh, remove two of the three defense points. That's great. Uh, that makes the dungeon soloable, because I am pretty sure that uh, even if you just turn 55 and finish your storyline quest, you have the gear to solo the dungeon without a problem and not uh, needing to rely on um, two other people for defending the course uh, will just uh, probably bring some life. It's really nice and you need the earring from there to upgrade your Skybreak Spire earring. Beast Bob made bosses spawn faster, you can use... Uh, well, it's a zone, so I don't know if you implement it. Leor the Frozen Fang, Red Wooden Dummy no longer appears. Nice, proof, no way to screw and wait for one minute. Evan Drake Lair, uh, nope, Nairo Foundry. Defeating Rocknar removes Ember Stacks. I believe it does as well now as well, but I could be wrong. Uh, defeating Rocknar despawns the moving wall. That's a problem we have currently. If you don't dodge it, you have to wait one minute in combat. Everyone, till the debuff expires, which reminds me of something. You can now use Dragon Pulse when you're in combat. 
which is nice exactly in Nario Foundry in Shattered Mass is nice so there are two of uh, those places there where you have to wait to exit combat um, Hollow's Heart uh, pretty often after the fight with the spider uh, there are people with poison everyone stays in combat because of that so now you can use the dragon pulse and continue further and when you move the, through the portal, you are out of combat anyway, uh, except for the people with the poison, probably they will remain and they will have to wait still. But that's how it is. Ebon Drake Lair, the duration of debuffs from Dark Vicar decreased. I don't know. I can't imagine uh, much debuffs. Uh, the only debuff I can think of is the one that you get when you enter Soul Separation. But that's from me being force master and staying too far from the boss to get the debuffs or hits. Increase the damage of some skills used by the Dark Vicar. Okay, if they decrease the skills that knock you back, knock you down, knock you up, knock you in, um, knock you whatever, spin in the air and do a triple axle salto or something, uh, I'll be happier. But uh, decreasing the damage is still uh, an improvement. Celestial Bastion remove most of the status effects used by normal enemies. If that means removing the stuns uh, from the elephants, uh, I agree. I approve and... Uh, but who knows, it's a zone, it's an auto dungeon, let's continue. Nario Sanctum Grenade Titan now always uses Fairy Punch before initiating his special pattern. Now, for people that don't know, on hard mode, the Titan... Uh, Stages are at 90, 60 and 30. And when he does the room wide AoE, if, if you are not hit by him, by the fair punches. When he hits you, he gives you a debuff. If you are not hit, and you are, if you don't have the, that debuff, that room wide AoE will kill you, no matter if you dodge it or not. You can iframe it, doesn't matter, you are dead. And uh, there was a problem when uh, the gear wasn't high enough as now, because now there are people that uh, can skip that stage, but uh, before when the gear, the max gear was a bit lower, so uh, if the damage is too high, uh, he skips doing the fairy punches and uh, goes di directly in mechanics, which uh, pretty much means that everyone dies. And, uh, and Dragon Blood won't help versus that, because that, that's, that's that from mechanics. Uh, Granite Titan now uses his Fairy Punch a bit late, which I don't know what it means, probably the stages will be 17 30 now, not 90-60-30, but who knows. Uh, decrease the health regen of Granite, Granite uh, Giant Nairu Agony. That's the one after the Titan and before Agony. Uh, that has some mobs around him that heal him. Uh, well, uh, it's annoying to get him to 5% and the mobs to heal him to 50%. And you have to fight more. So now he'll probably, if it's my bet, he'll get healed to like 30% of the From 5%. But that's my bet. Fixed an issue where Agony would sometimes reset his attack pattern. If that means that when he starts the lightning rod stage and if you push him under 30% he stops and uh, just continues his normal rotation so if it means that he'll finish the stage it means that he'll uh, do the third uh, lightning rods and then he'll uh, rush at the tank which if blocked will make the lightning rod rods explode dealing a lot of damage but that will actually make the dungeon uh, faster if it's not that well I don't know what it is so, uh, Iron Tech Forge. Sugun initiates fewer defensive forces. Sugun is the small automaton, which is exactly the, like the one in uh, Desolate Tomb, the second boss. Uh, so, he has now a 1, 2, 3, and final, as far as I remember. If it's my bet, it will be 1, 2, and final. But uh, we don't have uh, sure info for that. Getting hit by chain lightning from normal mode, Iron Monkey no longer kills you. Yes, if you the lightning hits you and only you, and it means uh, it's not shared, you die in one minute. So in normal mode, you won't die. Nice. Uh, 
you give a room for people to slap. Adds during the fight with Jung no longer uses Phantom Grip. So when Jung activates his um, defense mechanisms, you know, he shares a lightning with uh, one to three people and depending on the shares it's different color above that, uh, that people get, like uh, blue, yellow and red. And there are the mobs, the ads that spawn, they are phantom gripping people on I don't know what pattern, but uh, they won't be doing that much. That's in case you didn't know what happens. Uh, if you go there with the party with low uh, damage, you find out. Star of Infinity in Trial Arena, decrease damage of all enemies, slightly increase starting slower after full run that I have already said. Uh, Hong Moon slightly modified stats. Uh, for below 100 points, I don't know what that means, uh, and other defects for 150 and 125 points that I have already said. Skill skins that I don't think will be implemented, but that's to make your skills look like something else. Like, uh, for example, the Force Master on Fire build to make snowflakes when hitting. That's what I've seen. Dungeons. Uh, you can now recharge Dragon Ball in all heroic dungeons that I already set and use, use Dragon Ball's uh, pulls in uh, combat. Okay, that's about it. Uh, let's continue here. Dungeon reward chests for heroic dungeons have been unified in a single reward chest per region. Iridium, Cinderlands, Moonwalker, Silver Cross, Candlelit, Fargon, and so on. What this means? Well, let's take, for example, uh, Silver Cross. Currently, you have Lair of the Frozen Fang uh, box. You have uh, Ang uh, Avalanche Den uh, box. You have Cinder Nexus box, Cold Storage, uh, Sogun's Lament, uh, Desolate Tomb, Awakened Necropolis, Citadel, um, Shattered Mass, Wound Draws, uh, Heaven's Mandate. Uh, Sundered Nexus, I think I repeated some of them. Anyway, you are getting different boxes from each of those dungeons. And when you return the quest, you have like 15 boxes just from that region. Uh, I think even uh, floors 9 and up in Mushin Tower are rated as Silver Frost. But not sure. Uh, so, the, those now will give you just a Silver Frost box. So, that means that you have 15 boxes uh, taking one slot and you can open them at once. Which is nice, especially for people with less space in their inventory. Items. <clears throat> okay, I reduce the cost of legendary elements and jewels uh, from 30 soul stones and 50 sacred crystals to 10 and 10 gold to 15 and 7 crystals, which is half the prices in material and 10 gold. If you, do, if you have the materials, uh, it's not a big deal but uh, still decrease is a decrease, it's cheaper, uh, but if you don't have them and you have to buy them from the soul stones and the sacred crystals, you actually have to buy soul stones and sacred orbs, and uh, they cost more than 10 gold, add to that the 10 gold, and uh, it goes more than the 20 gold we had before, so that's a nice change. Received items. Packed items in received items, items now stack together without, with other similar items. So, uh, when you're returning your uh, online time reward, you know the charms, The you have 20 green charms and 4 purple, they will now, instead of taking 24 slots and unpacking each one separately, uh, they will take 2 slots and they should be unpacked, at least that's what they show on their stream. I don't know, but you can see the difference uh, of packing. Uh, Items that are stacked will be stacked with, uh, well, same stacks. For example, if you have uh, three times uh, Moonstone Crystal stacks of 30 Moonstones and have 10 times uh, Moonstone Crystal stacks of 5. That means that you have one with uh, three 30 stacks, 30 Moonstone stacks and uh, one with uh, 10 uh, 5 moonstone stacks, for example, but they won't stack as moonstones uh, on the same place. So, also, what you can get is uh, an uh, amount of stacks and not the clean amount, which means that if you have 10 stacks of 5 moonstone crystals, 
you can get like three stacks of five, which is 15, but you can't get like 12 moonstones. Uh, you can split the stacks uh, of items when uh, claiming on visit character. Yes, shift and right click like uh, with other stuff, but still, that will reduce the amount of uh, place stuff uh, of things you have in your inventory. Because uh, as you can see, I have uh, in my box some uh, uh, excessive amounts of void fragments that just stay there. Uh, bonus attributes, no bonus attributes, uh, but uh, I think I've said it, uh, oh no, I didn't, okay, uh, so <clears throat> we have the new achievement, uh, in the achievement uh, window there's the bonus attributes, so we are getting uh, bonus attributes for 15 or from 20 uh, attack power, AP, and for more uh, accuracy piercing, but I don't know about their achievements. 15 attack power, you need to do 15 run, 50 runs on hard mode, um, Evan Drake, Nario Sanctum, uh, Evan Drake Lair and Iron Tech Forge. And for 20 AP you need 50 runs on hard mode on um, Sarstone Mines, Hollow Heart and uh, Burning Deeps. You can now transmute octagonal obsidians, so you need uh, we heptagonal and uh, the following materials you can see. Uh, you can also get the garnet, as I've said, uh, which you also can transmit. Uh, other thing, uh, 21st of April brings the cherry blossom treasure trove with, uh, of course, you can buy keys, well hard. Uh, you can open the expansion with a uh, 20% discount uh, for both end coins and home moon coins, and you can buy bundles of uh, 50 and 100 keys respectively with 5 and 10%, but only with end coins. You are getting uh, outfits, of course. Uh, Chow Pao is a Chow Chow that you are wearing on the back. I got pets. Uh, Spot a costume. I love to have that costume on my female gun. Uh, and go kill some uh, bosses with it in a towel and wearing nothing under it. <laughs> uh, materials like animals, sacred oils, pregnant transformations, well, the regular stuff, uh, blood pearls and sea glasses, those are from Browning Deeps, cosmic pearls and dragon forge fragments, those are from Nova Core and full battlegrounds. Rans orbs, Rans resets if you want to go to Temple of Ruin a second time, black stones, pretty much the ordinary stuff. Pokemon, Gildan, Triangular, Screen, and Peridot. Uh, those are the yellow and the green-ish. Uh, crystals, the, the yellow gives you HP when uh, the target is, uh, the enemy is stunned, knocked down, uh, or uh, dazed. And uh, Peridot gives you uh, health, uh, HP. Uh, directly and over time when you're evading not using your skills but uh, using your you know stats which means uh, like the one you're not doing anything in your evade uh octagonal and heptagonal diamond through the citrines appear and all ten amethyst of course um hexagonal and pentagonal obsidians gem powders soul shield engravings never use them they can be crafted but costs a lot and i'm not sure that it's worth it upgrade your social or use those uh, XP charms uh, those are materials used to upgrade your uh, gloves uh, that's from 10 to uh, from 9 to 10 you need uh, those ghost grip gloves deity ring uh, they cost like 300 gold and 10 um, 10 black stones they are usually about 100 gold uh, on uh, they are like the profane stone uh, on the throw. Also, Mystery Puzzle Box is back till 21st of March, so don't forget to get it right away for free. And you're on all your alt accounts because you can get those uh, nice uh, stuff, including the Shock Jock outfit, which looks great. And uh, you have chance to get the Explorer or Brawler Puzzle Box, which gives you even better. Uh, outfits, 
and materials and stuff and uh, like the dragonfly, the shock jog, the star slayer and the impact and that still here is more with the Montana. Uh, and uh, one last thing that uh, didn't uh, is not written anywhere here for people going 6 vs 6 clan battleground to go 6 vs 6 clan battleground you have to be in the clan for one week you can go there so you can't go clan battleground in uh, 15 clans uh, in the same day you can go in one clan and you can change the clan and uh, you can go clan battle with the other clan after a week staying at that, at that clan. That particular because we have um, first 15 spots taken by out clans or uh, the same clan. And I'm sure that uh, there are other clans that are doing the same. Well, that will pre pretty much uh, lower the amount of uh, out clans having uh, high battleground stats. Uh, place placement so i think that's it so that's what it is for this update don't forget to hit the circle below to subscribe for our channel and you can come and visit me on uh, twitch when i'm streaming and ask me questions directly mm. and that's all see you in the next video